offering some tea. Yeah, today is another great day. That's why the tea is going on everywhere. Attention, back home in Nigeria. But today, I will tell you a whole lot of things, updates about other information. Right to that NASA. I'm telling you, and other, 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 other things, bra and the rest of them. Please just hold on, okay? The potation <laughs> guy, you know, my grand said that, man. Everybody trembles, scary, man. So please hold on, hold on, so that you get the full gist of every other details, okay? All right, if you're here for the first time, please subscribe because you're getting really like you're getting really involved in it. Ha! You know what I was saying, yeah. Information is power. If you know, you know, and if you don't know, you don't still know. Thank you, please subscribe. It's free, man. And please do me one thing show me love. I like my video, even if you don't watch to the end. Just like my video, just to show me love, man. Please, see as I'm begging you guys, man. All right, um, to my friends who have subscribed and the new subscribers, guys, welcome on board because without you guys, I'll be here doing this whole thing. I'll just be talking to myself, but you guys are the reason why I'm here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's by the fact that some still insult chi, man. Can you believe that? That every, every, people are still insulting chi. I don't know why, the kind of brain they still have till now. But no problem. Respect to them too. All haters. <laughs> I still appreciate you guys. Because you guys give me the energy to still move on. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Now, the updated information of Nadi Kanula. He was taken to court yesterday. Where it was down at John till July 20, whatever, 6 or 8, whatever. So now, uh, some wanted it on October 20th. That was the time the NSAS thing happened too. I don't know why they want to choose that same date when NSAS people will be doing their remembrance day, how people were killed and the rest of them. That's the day they wanted it, but uh, Justice Binta, whatever, she still insisted on the July. So now, let's see what happens to them. But though he has not been found guilty of anything, for now, not um, yet found guilty, just that his bill, uh, whatever, was revoked, which means that he cannot go on bill anymore, though the lawyers kind of challenged it. And he spoke well when they asked him, hey, why did you have to run away? He said, I have to go away because my life was a threat. You guys sent your soldiers to come and kill me. They killed everybody there. If I was there, they could have killed me too. So that's why he said he ran away. So, well, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, the last day he spoke well. So, the, well, let's see what will happen this time around as uh, he's now in their custody uh, with the DSS, you know, and the rest of them. So, um, I hope they are going to give him a fair hearing, you know, and follow up the, you know, human rights, you know, give him his rights, you know. Um, but I hope they are not up to something. But I should remember the case of Muhammad Yusuf, the guy who founded Boko Haram, you know, that man. How he was killed until this day, the northeast has been in tremble, in shamble. I'm telling you. So, um, it's on record that when you kill a leader of a group, you bring up more haters, more wicked, more leaders. Look at the time of Bin Laden and all of them, all of them combined. You see more deadly terrorists are coming up whenever you kill a leader, another one takes over, and things continue. And remember, the IPOV have said we give the federal government three days to, to you know, to, yeah, you know, they say after three days, if nothing happens, they are going to what? <laughs> I don't know what they will do, but let's see what they are up to. Don't now because if you remember during time of ender stars after two three days like that he said if he's found or if he's killed uh, if he's kind of killed or he's nowhere to be found or whatever that they should act they should react they should act so i don't know what he means by that but let's see this is second day tomorrow make it the third day and maybe on the fourth day we shall see what the ipop will do you know now they are fully armed so well they not in us you know those uh in the security field they were celebrating look at how they were smiling everyone smile on their face that have captured that kind of, but now you like to know what's the details how was he captured they said uh, on his route to ukraine that was due to um from vanguard you know quoting vanguard a guy who is a um, columnist or whatever by name farouk he said he that even he himself knew that he will be arrested even a month before he was arrested that he knew about the plan but he was told to keep it as a top secret so now what happened they said um they got information that he'll be leaving for ukraine you know and the plane will be transiting from Ethiopia, you know. So now the Justice Minister Malami have to write to the Ethiopian, whatever government, and tell them that hey, we need this guy back here, you know, blah 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 blah. And then Interpol and the rest of them, when he dropped there in the airport of Ethiopia, he was arrested. And then maybe some people said tranquil, you know, like kind of injected. And then he couldn't react or resist arrest and the rest of them. So they brought him back home. That's why it took them two days until you know they have to now bring him back so because this by then he must have recovered himself but though we hear the full gist from that kind of himself when he will be speaking with his lawyer and the rest of them so that was how they said it happened so they tracked him but you not think how did they know that he'll be traveling to ukraine but some said uh, it could be jerusalem because of the prayer thing that he was handling that will be ending in 30 days so he was going to jerusalem to finish his prayer there 
but some said no he was going to the ukraine so i don't know but all they said transit to ethiopia why some said um that uh, they set up they set him up through some prostitutes a prostitute who was um, chatting with him uh, chatting with him earlier this year set him up and uh, made him to come to brazil in the brazil there in the hotel room they have to arrest him there and then took him to airport after injecting him and brought him back home but i don't know but I believe maybe the one of Vanguard that said that he was arrested in Ethiopia on his route to Ukraine. So well, that is it. Though, though he's having his still, he's still having his British citizen citizenship. So I believe that um, you cannot uh, put their citizen in in prison because he has denounced the Nigerian citizen. So I believe that Britain uh, is likely to come and help him. You know, make exchange, talk to the government and say this is our citizen. We need him back in our country. We can you know treat the matter there. So let's see what happens. What Britain is going to do. So Nigerians in the diaspora who are there, I believe they'll be talking to the British government by now. So I hope they are going to respect his human rights, his dignity as a person, you know. Uh -huh. So for now, we know he's asking for his own sovereignty, his own country. So let's see what happens. As time goes by, I will update you guys what is really happening in the court, you know, what has been happening. All right. So leaving that as a that. Yes, um, it's no longer news that the guy who normally do chants for Abakari and his boys have been beheaded in Imo State the other day. So it means that uh, they said this guy is a traitor, you know, he has been making chants for Abakari. That's why Abakari can disappear and appear and kill the top most dangerous people in Nigeria. This guy has threatened them, killed them, arrested them, you know, likes of Evans, many of them like that. So he came to Imo State ever since he came to the East. Uh, the unknown government has been falling like chicken, you know, they have been killing them bullets and penetrating them. So I believe the unknown government have to go back and ask their boss, hey, what happened? They are native doctor. Why is bullet penetrating us? So maybe he told them that the other native doctor is responsible. So they have to go and kill him. Mr. Okalada, you know, the native doctor, he was beheaded. So even his own champs failed him too. That means his champs too have weakened that they could even behead him. So I believe that now there's chaos within the Abakari camp, you know, but so long now. This is it. This is it. So let's move on to what? Spra, please, if you are in or out of camp, remember that at any point in time you want to move to Spra, you can go to official immigration and tell them that, hey, I want to go back to Spra. That is if you have never been. Because one of the updated law in those, I think last year, said that even if you have two years, protection is special and red, you can go back to Spra. So please, if you are out there, you don't have a place, go to official immigration and tell them that you want to go back to Spra. And if you are in the camp and they are not um, listening to you, maybe your request to go back to Spra, you can just walk there to official immigration and check it on Google. By saying office of the Migra official immigration in blah 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 city, put the name of your city there, you'll find the address most of the time is close to the questura. And if there are some injustice, you are meeting up in your camp, like the, the way they are treating you guys, the place is dirty, blah blah blah, they don't pay, blah blah. You can always write to the UNHCR, UNHCR office in Rome, search it on Google, UNHCR office in Rome. You will see their phone number, you see their email, but I prefer you write them by mail, write all the details there, explain to them what you are passing through in your camp the injustice you guys are facing there and surely they will transfer all you guys they will come into the matter what they normally do is transfer everybody out and then that camp could be shut down the rest of them if they find them guilty because of late many of the camps operators have been sent to jail upon the upon them found they are they, are, they were found them um, of corrupt corruption like and they have three they go and tell government they have 300 people in their company where they have only 100 or 120 so government has investigated them and found out that it's all lies so the investigation is still going on in other camps where this kind of uh, systematic fraud corruption is going on so that is why you must also report because some of you guys they don't even pay you guys the real money government asks them to pay so government is also investigating all these things the corruption going on in the people who are running the camp system you know uh -huh, projects and the rest of them so if you can write write to the unchcr office in rome okay put it like that you see the address everything you can complain all the complainables to them and also if you need a lawyer who can help you fight out issues anywhere anyhow whether you're in other country you want to come back and seek asylum you need a lawyer just contact me i can give you one whether it's your bonus baby that they are not paying you or my senior maternity they are not paying you because they have a new child please you can also use this lawyer he can help you write to the necessary office competent office of the, you know that um, have to release your phone to you and the rest of them so please i can give you the number you can contact him okay so now listen something is going on with people of senatorial now listen these days most people have been laid off from their jobs you know so now what happens is that Ramos have sent have already sent the calling of this person to come and present him or herself to Questura. But the couple refused to pass this information to the person because the person is no longer working with him or her. You know, so now what will, you will do is just to walk yourself to the nearest Questura close to you and tell that, hey, it has taken time. I've not been called. 
So please, what is happening? And when they check and your demand is still active, then they'll tell you, hey, we have called you before, but why didn't you come? You say, a couple did not tell you because you're no longer working with him or her. So all they will do is to tell, okay, go and pay the necessary tax, then come back and finish the process with us. Why am I saying this? This is a case of a guy in part of our this thing has happened to. He just found out and other people who just found out that their couple has received message but refused to communicate it to them. Because sometimes these couple are like, okay, if you get this document, you're going to run away. You stop working with me. So all they want to just do is to use you and dump you ahead of time. So please always go to Questra to find out your own issue. Why is it delaying? And Questra will easily tell you whether they have sent the calling to your boss or not. Okay, so with that, you are clarified. Okay, so please do not stay at home and be waiting for that your boss to communicate anything to you because some of them could not, <laughs> maybe they don't like you, so they might not tell you all this information. All right, so that is it. Uh huh. So now moving on to the deportation issues. Yes, now in UK and Denmark, you know what is already happening where Denmark is pushing migrants to Rwanda to go and seek the asylum there and where they'll be sponsoring the countries and the rest of them. Now, some countries like Tunisia, Egypt, uh, Rwanda, um, they also mentioned South Africa there about, uh -huh. they are talking about pushing migrants there to go and finish the asylum process. Even like UK Parliament is also discussing about it, whereby uh, migrants who are seeking the appeal will be sent to those countries, you know, and they could go there and finish their process up. So it means that going to these countries, uh, people should be careful to say you want to go there and seek your own asylum. Because now this is what they are doing. Before you know it, another country will like the idea, like even Italy, Germany, France, Spain, they could like the idea and also select their own country in Africa where they'll be pushing migrants to, to go and complete the asylum process there, even if they are on appeal and the rest of them. So these are countries who are who are not tired of migrants. That's what I'm saying. The more people are coming in, the more we are troubling them, killing them, disrespecting them, abusing them, you know, every bad thing we do to them, the more these things are going on and crowds still coming in, then the laws they will be making will be not be favorable to us. All will be wicked laws, okay? So please, let's respect them, all right? So that, uh, you know, they could reduce the way they are punishing us with these laws. Yes, ready to cheat at the answer. Ready to cheat at the answer. Um, so please, um, ready to cheat at the answer. People are saying they have not gotten their pain, but they started paying it on the 25th. From what I found out from him, they have been paying, 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 though on Sunday 27th, I don't think they pay. So now, they said the payment is still ongoing. So never give up or think that they will not still pay. Even as I'm talking to you, yesterday people received their payment. Even today, people received their payments too. So it will continue like that. I think they have some kind of delays or whatever um, from the post, you know, that normally credits all these accounts. So you will surely be paid so long as you got your account you have not been rejected or blocked or revoked, you know. So all you have to do, if you are still that worried till this evening or even tomorrow, uh -huh, then all you have to do is to call in. Remember the protocol number you have that was given to you by CAF when you first applied that demanda or the message you got from him, so that by mail or by phone number. You see numeral protocol, IMPS, RDC, blah, 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 blah. You see the numbers there. Have that number at hand so that when you call in through the number, 0616464. I repeat again, 0616464. You call them. If you can speak in Italian, speak in Italian. If you can wait, you get the option of choosing to speak to them in English. I think number three or so. You select it and speak with them in English. You ask you for the protocol number where you tell them your physical code. You tell them your name, your date of birth, where you live, blah, blah, all those information you ask from you. And then the rest thing, they will tell you what has happened. Whether the card is blocked, revoked, or whatever, then you will now know. And if it's still active, they will tell you it's still active that you should just hold on for your payment. Yes, for those of you who can go to the info office direct, you can just walk in there direct. Okay, and if you cannot speak Italian or English, then you can go to CAF and they can help you call in or you can tell your friend to help you and call and explain to them. It's also nice that way. All right, so that is it. But all I know is that something happened and payments are trickling down gradually, gradually to the rest of the people. So I remain yours truly, ever chi. Remember to show me love. But like my video, share to your friends on WhatsApp, Facebook, press that bell for, you know, for me, man, just to show me love. Let's in the comment section. I'm out of here. I'm T. Ciao.